The journey to the next generation excavator is a very interesting one. Coming out of the emissions, we've been so focused on that one area, and suddenly the slate was clean. Yeah, that journey started and we got people internal, external, from five continents. I lead a customer advisory group where we bring customers in and share face-to-face -face what their needs are in their daily roles and how we can bring that back into our products that is serving their needs. Customer focus, customer driven, not caterpillar focus, product driven. So we want customer select, not we push and sell our product. We have done our homework in this MPI. We have interviewed over a thousand customers worldwide. We have done face-to-face -face interviews. We have surveyed them. We have brought customers into our design centers to test some of the concepts. And what we heard from customers very clearly is, Caterpillar, please help me. We've taken the feedback of the customer over years and years and years and added it to this one giant change. I think everybody involved engaged in this and viewed it as a huge opportunity. So we all knew that we wanted to set a strategy in a direction that would deliver a product leading in the marketplace. Ma Caterpillar no DNA de aru chikara zeosa, sore to ma seizan sen no takai i kikai. Ma sore wa mo saiteigen no yokyu nan desu kere no mo. We had lots of good ideas for modularity and commonality. We found good ways to improve the efficiency of the tractor, but we wanted to make a bigger jump, and that brought us to the technology push. So we made a couple of key decisions. One, we put a new digital heart inside of these products. And two, we decided to standardize new technology on top of these machines to make operators more effective faster, to save our customers money through lower fuel consumption and lower owning and operating costs, and to help them get the job done faster and with higher quality. And we're bringing a lot of new standard technology on the machines right from the factory, but also it's scalable when we get into more of the advanced features like 2D advanced and 3D. Our vision for modularity was to be able to have a base that we can easily continuously transform um, so that uh, we can continue to, to build on the, on the features of the base machine. If you think about a parallel that might help you understand why it's so revolutionary, it's a little bit like we had flip phones and you moved to the iPhone. This is the change that we have been executing. And really it's the intuitiveness of the monitor and all of the features in the cab. From great assist, to payload, to make it intuitive and simple for operators globally. And it must have the reliability and durability built into it. I mean, that is Caterpillar's DNA and we don't plan to go away from that. But to the key points, this machine is so user friendly to customers. One of the biggest challenges our customers have is attracting and retaining new operators. So with next generation hydraulic excavators, we're standardizing new technologies that help new operators become effective faster and experienced operators become even more effective. And use these features to make their job sites better and make them more money. That's really the revolutionary part about this excavator. This is our first ground-up redesign of our hydraulic excavator in 25 years. We really wanted to make sure in this product launch is that we have a platform that is sustainable for the future. Globally, the three next-gen excavators are going to have their individual places. And thus the three models, the 320GC, the 320 and the 323. From the customer that really wants that just base tractor, not getting a lot of hours on it, just needs to get the competitive job done, that 20 GC is gonna be an excellent fit for them. When you look at the 320 and the 323, these products are really advanced with the technology features that we have. When you need to get that more performance, you need to get more versatility. We have leveraged that expertise to bring out a brand new generation excavator, second to none, and in integrating that voice into the iron. The global collaboration is a reality. It continues. We leverage the best resources of what we have them in the globe, and we have a global footprint, and we'll continue to leverage that. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of what we have now, and there's a lot of things coming in the future that we can continue to do that customers are asking us for. With the 20 and the 23, having the cat grade control, having the sensors, having everything set up here, really gives us that awesome platform to really leap us ahead for the future and, and maintain that.